Hi, this is Captain Ken from Jack's Charter Service in Catch-22. Uh, we're back at you today again with our connection for lead core line to floral carbon or to your backing or whatever you do. There's lots of different knots out there. Uh, people will do many different things to make that connection. Uh, I feel that I've tried them all. Oh my God. Woo. So we've got our lead core line. That's either going to the bait or going to the rod. It doesn't matter. Uh, we use pro swivels for this as well. So a size eight, it's 50 pound test. Haven't had any issues with it. So what we do is we take our lead core we do this exact same thing for uh, walleye and everything that there is. So just get a clean cut on the edge of our lead core or copper. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, some lead out. So just push the lead out take out a couple inches of it uh three four inches of the lead cut it off then pull the lead back through inside the uh sheath of the lead core um so the lead is over here where this finger is all of this is clean over here you're just going to take your spro swivel Go through your spro swivel and then just tie, we just tie a regular overhand fisherman's knot. So wrap it your five to seven times, whatever you're doing. Getting the end moist. So we're just going through uh, the spro swivel and then through that opening that we made. And we're going to pu pull it tight. Helps to have a pliers or something so that you can pull your knot tight. There you are. It's all attached. I'll grab that with that. There's your knot. There's the tag end coming off of it. So now we're just going to cut our tag end and we're good. Um, once it's cut, once it's cut, I like to take a lighter and just uh, bring that in close to it and we're all done. That's the connection that we use for all of our lead core. So then on the opposite side of this, you would just take your floral carbon and tie to your bait, uh, whatever, uh, if you're using a spoon, uh, whatever you're tying to on the opposite side. So you're gonna tie your knot on that side. We would do this exact same thing from the reel to the backing. Uh, once again, for our lead core, we use 30 pound big game uh, backing. Uh, there's people out there that are still using braid. Um, so real shortly right now, um, and I have an entire video that'll be coming up with why we don't use braid anymore, but it has to do with the stretch. <clears throat> so this lead core or copper line doesn't have any stretch to it. Uh, the fluorocarbon on the other end of it doesn't have any stretch to it. We did switch for a period of time to uh, braided backing. We used Power Pro. We used a couple different things. Um, we found that we lost many, many more fish by using braided backing because there was nothing that would give. And in fact, when a fish hits super hard, 
oftentimes you'll see your uh, your rod tip is bent over, you're running on your planer board, whatever. Your planer board would actually like fly out of the water because there's nothing of stretch at all that would uh, give. So we switched to 30 pound big game backing and I believe uh, we increased our bites greatly. We tried 20 pound backing, I didn't uh, really like it. We tried 25 pound backing. Um, I was trying to stay with a skinnier, thinner diameter line on the backing so that you could get more on the reel itself. Uh, we use all uh, Shimano gear. Uh, so we're using Shimano uh, Takotas, uh, both 700s and 800s for our, uh, so all of our lead core is on uh, Shimano 700s. Some of our copper 700s and 800s, depending on what it is. Um, on both of our big salmon boats, we carry copper line up to 600 feet of copper. On uh, each one of the uh, boats, you can fit 600 feet of copper and a decent amount of 30-pound uh, big game backing behind it. you got to remember that these fish, when they hit a copper that's that long, uh, there's a lot of weight to it. So the odds of a fish taking out a lot of line, I've not had one spool me. Um... There's not a ton of line left on the uh, 800 Dakota, but they do a great job. We run them behind our offshore boards. Um, yeah, and uh, so that it's the reason why we use 30 pound big game. I'll get into more specifics of uh, all of the different stuff that we tested in a future video, but that gives you an idea for our lead core uh, setup. Uh, it's pretty simple. We've done the method, uh, all of the different lead core methods in the past. This is the one that I have found that does not fail. I've not had this not break. Um, I've had every other lead core connection that I've tried break, uh, where you're taking out the copper and putting the line up the middle of the thing and then tying it. Um, every other way that I've tried it, it's broken. So it's the reason that we've gone to these uh, Spro swivels. I've not had the knot come undone been great. Once again, if you have any ideas for uh, future videos, uh, people continue to contact me. You can get us at, uh, text me or call me at 414-349-4077. Uh, thanks much. Once again, this is Captain Ken from Jack's Charter Service and Catch-22. Have a great day.